Hello, Mastertron Tamer here. I wanted to share with you my latest build. Um, this is a network reset box for want of a better name for it. Um, the purpose of this is if you have um, a situation where you have both a cable modem or a DSL modem and an access point, and for some reason the network has gone down, the idea is that you can press a single button which will reset everything back to the way it should run to bring it back up. Um, so that's this design. It utilizes a couple of off-the-shelf timers. These are very cool programmable and I've got to say they're probably a little bit of overkill for this particular project. But they are infinitely settable for a whole bunch of different patterns. Um, the module that I got, it's, it's program number two works like this. When they power on, the relay will energize for however many seconds you've set the first time interval for. Once it hits the first time interval, the relay de-energizes. It's also, there's an input pin, and if you put um, positive voltage on that, that will do the same thing it will start the whole cycle over again where it energizes the relays. The regular wall warts would plug into this box and then from here it would connect to the two different devices. And again, when you press the button, I have mine configured so that the relay energizes for um, 350 seconds on the first one and 500 seconds on the second one. And the reason for this is the, in this case, the place where it was installed, the DSL modem, we need to power that up first and get it talking to the ISP before we hook up the, the access point. And this is something we would do ourselves. We just unplug the connectors and then put them back together in the correct order. But the whole goal of this was to make it very simple for the person who was going to use it so that it, they just had to push a button. The other way where this will help is if the power should go out and we lose the ISP as well because they're on the same power, when it comes back up, it will delay 350 seconds before it attempts to connect up to the ISP. The goal here is that that should give that system enough time to come up and running before it connects up. Um, anyways, um, it's pretty straightforward. In this, in this um, picture, you see um, the power is coming in through the connectors on the right into both boards. Then um, the red goes over to the common screw on the relay. And then the red going out on the left-hand side connects up to the normally closed connection. Now this is by design because if the power will be going through normally. It will only be when the relay energizes that it disconnects it. So effectively, this is a fail on device. Should something go completely wrong with the timer and nothing was working right, it would still be connected because I'm on the normally closed terminals of the relay. Um, the blacks are tied together as well as powering the red and the black from the right hand side are powering the board and sending um, 12 volts up to the switch to, re to have that be the reset on the input pin. And that's basically it. I went with coaxial connectors like this because I thought that would be a, a cleaner look. Um, these are standard 5.5 um, millimeter by 2.5 millimeter jacks, which is a very common size. Um, and the idea being um, is the wall warts would connect over on the right and you would connect the left side over to the devices. I will of course um, put links to find all of the parts um, that you need to do this if you want to build this project. Um, I'll put links down below. But let's let me do a quick plug. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a local electronic store um, please look there for the parts first. Um, we need to keep these people in business. They help us in every way. 
Um, I've never been in one nationwide where the people weren't incredibly helpful uh, when you're trying to put a project together. Uh, my local um, electronic store is a place called Norvac Electronics Parts. Um, and like I said, Jim there always takes good care of me. One more thing, um, so you wouldn't have to get a project box if you didn't want to. I went ahead and on Thingverse posted um, this box design. So if you have a 3D printer or you have access to a 3D printer, you could just go ahead and print your own box so you don't have to um, um, buy a box. They're kind of ridiculously expensive nowadays for what they are, just a project box. Um, the design that's up on Thingverse has a few little modifications that I made to it. Um, for instance, I moved the coaxial connectors um, further away from the center point. That was because, as you can see um, in this design, they ended up kind of right over the terminal strip. So I thought that would make it a little bit easier to wire with those moved over, and I made some other little tweaks. But it's, it's basically still... Um, this design. So um, I hope you enjoyed um, this project. I apologize I didn't have time to video the build. I only had two days to get it um, to built and installed. So um, that wasn't possible but I thought I could at least jump on after the fact and um, show you it. Um, I as you can see printed the bottom half of mine in a gray PLA. Um, PLA should be fine for this type of project. Doesn't need to be ultra strong. I use PLA plus, but. And then I used a translucent, translucent lid for the top. Um, the purpose for that would be so that we could um, uh, see the lights on. It looks very sci-fi, um, actually. It's kind, of, it's kind of fun when it's on. Um, one more little tip when you're putting it all together you need to be a little bit careful um, that you push the wires of the switch out of the way there are four little push buttons that are used to program the these little timers you want to stay clear of those um, when you're pushing the wires down but other than that um, I think that's all I can tell you about it but if you have questions um, please comment down below. Comment if you liked it. Comment if you think it was a screwy idea. So far it's been great for the user where I installed it. So um, yeah, I haven't had nothing but compliments about it. It kind of saved their bacon and ready already once. So the power glitches are really bad where they where they live. All right, so that takes care of that. Um, um, please um, hit the subscribe button. Please comment. Please, please like. You know, you know the drill. And I will look forward to seeing you again on the next video.